you were in Vegas for the unfinished beef event with Kobayashi and Joey Chestnut. I just got to know, what, what was the event like being there in person? Because on TV, it seemed like it was electric. Yeah, the I was in Vegas supporting uh, Joey Chestnut when he went against Kobayashi. Uh, yeah, Netflix put a lot of money into it, and this was like a big deal. And uh, everything looked great, and uh, it was big. Let's say that. What a great time. And my my throat is still raw from screaming at Joey to eat more. So, <laughs> as your view, you were the the mustard belt champion this year at Nathan's. Obviously, Joey wasn't there. You ate fifty eight hot dogs. Joey had eighty three. Does this event in any way, maybe in your mind, put like an asterisk on what you did at Coney Island? Because without Joey, obviously, it was a different <laughs> event. So, do you, does this have any asterisk in your mind? Like, you, if some people are saying, like, "Hey, maybe you're not the real champ," what would you say to that? I mean. Yeah, there's definitely an asterisk. Joey wasn't there, but somebody had to step up. And uh, I look at it like maybe like a strike year shortened uh, see, a competition, you know. I mean, I, it was not my decision to prevent Joey from eating. So somebody had to step up and win. And I don't know why the Internet hates me so much when I post anything, but they have to bring up how much better Joey is. And I know this, but I mean, when Joey first started and winning, his totals were not 76, so it took him several years to build up to that. So I mean, he's a great eater, and uh, yeah, there's always going to be an asterisk by my title, but I'm fine with that. And uh, But you and Joey seem like you're close, because based off the videos, you were <clears throat> out to dinner with him. Obviously, you were cheering him on. Like, did did you and Joey have, like, any back and forth just about that between yourselves, just as, like, friends as jokes? Like, did Joey mess around with you with that? Yeah, I mean, I just – they were trying to get people to – well, he's very recognizable, so – uh and then we just bring up that I'm the current Nathan's hot dog eating champ. I mean, right in front of him just to rub it in. But he knows. Uh, I mean, it's just funny. We, I've known him for like 20 years, and he's like an older brother to me. So I love the dude. I respect the dude. And uh, I was going to go support him no matter what. I mean, I had to go out there and be in his corner. Between you and Joey, because obviously Nathan's is a year away. Uh, tensions can calm down between two sides. Has Joey mentioned anything about wanting to go back to Naples and eventually get back there? Because I know from yourself as a competitor, you want Joey back there. Does Joey want to go back still? Yeah, I mean, I look at this year as like a – almost like a gift. So I would like him to be back because I never expected him to win. Or I'm sorry. I never expected to win this competition myself with Joey not being there. So this feels good now. But and he had – Joey's mentioned that he would like to go back at least one more time. So I don't know if it will be next year. but uh. The contest was really – the Netflix contest was pretty awesome, so we might be doing more of those. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what he's up to. I read you took a year off. Like for Nathan was like your first event uh, at, at least a year. At least that's what I read. Uh, how did it feel being back out, out there? And, and obviously you won the Monster Belt, so it was like no no time missed. But just re how was it back out there as a competitor? Yeah, so uh, I originally took eight years off from eating, and then two years ago I came back to Nathan's, and I think I ate 35 in the fourth of July, which was pretty depressing. So uh, it felt really good to come back this year. And uh, I never thought I was going to win Nathan's ever. And it still doesn't seem real. And uh, just excited to go back and improve. I know I got 60 in me at least. So we'll see. Obviously, we're still a little bit away from next year's contest. But uh, to the people that have doubts about your ability as a hot dog, a professional eater, what would you say to them? Because obviously, we're in maybe a little post showy time now. What would you say to the haters? Yeah, I mean, I've been eating for professional. I've been eating professionally. Sorry, I've been eating professionally for 18 years, and I have a lot of good records. And uh, yeah, I've been around. It's not like I just showed up. Never did this before. And uh, I don't want to say it was my time, but I really worked my ass off this year. And uh, you know, if Joey comes back, it'll be a good year. And I've beaten Joey in a lot of food, so he's not unbeatable. That's for sure.